Hey Roger community, how is everyone doing so far? You may notice the Game Boy Pocket I repaired and refurbished a, a little while back. Everything works except for the fact that there's this scratch on the screen lines. At first I thought it was maybe just residue from a sticker or something like that because this originally came with a sticker on it, some sort of like a lot number. Uh, unfortunately it's not that, it's literally just scratched. And that's a bummer because it kind of detracts from its overall look. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace the screen lens on here. And I figured it'll probably take me five minutes to do it. But let me turn it into a video. It's kind of like a how-to, or at least how I would do it, in case you were wondering how to do it yourself. Now, most of you probably know how to do this. But in the event you don't, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you how. So there's, in my opinion, basically three different ways you can go about this. Uh, the first one is to disassemble the Game Boy Pocket by removing the six triwing screws. And then there are three screws for the PCB itself. And you ultimately get to a point where you have basically just the front half of the shell. Now I'm using this one here since I don't necessarily care if the screen gets damaged. But what you do is remove the screen and then just pop the old protector off and then replace it, put everything back together, you're good to go. Now you're probably thinking, well, how do I get the screen out? Do I just lift up here? Don't do that. Do not pull on the ribbon. You will run the risk of ripping it and then the screen is toast in the event that yours is in good condition. Now you may also think maybe I can just grab like a, a pry tool or something like that and then just pop the screen out. But you run the risk of damaging the screen itself and I don't recommend doing that either. Instead, the tried and true method uh, is to take the front half of the housing and gently rock it back and forth. And as you can maybe hear, the uh, adhesive is loosening up already. And that's because the adhesive on here is, what, 15, 20 years old or what have you, depending on whether it's, you know, a DMG Game Boy, the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, etc. So... Just rocking it back and forth can loosen it up enough that now you can take a spudger or a pry tool or something like that and then just lift the screen out and then go ahead and pop the old lens out, put the new one on, reassemble everything, etc. So that's one method. But let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you don't feel comfortable taking it apart. You're not good with electronics, but you want to replace your screen lens. Well, another method that, uh, that I've found very reliable is to take a hairdryer on low heat and then just kind of do circular motions around the perimeter uh, of the uh, old screen lens to loosen the adhesive on this side. And eventually it'll become loosened up enough that you can remove this protector. Let me show you. So I apologize, it's gonna get a little loud. Maybe I'll do a voiceover during this part. I just have this basic hair dryer and it does have a low setting make sure that the hair dryer you have that the low setting still has heat and it's not just cool this one has a separate cool option but some hair dryers their low setting might be cold air and that's not going to help you obviously in this case here but basically you're just going to take your hair dryer let me see if i can get a better angle here for myself and you're just going to go in a circular motion and you want to do a circular motion, try to apply heat as evenly as possible to help remove the screen lens as evenly as possible as well. So, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll find out. And then once the adhesive is loosened up enough, try to find a gap, if possible, between. And you just take a pry tool, and try to pry it out. If it's loosened enough, it should just come out. But you've got to be careful also using that method because you don't want to run the risk of this scratching this at all. Um, one other warning is if you don't have a hairdryer that has a low setting, do not use the high setting because it could potentially get warm enough to start softening the plastic. It won't get hot enough to warp it or anything, but still. And I don't recommend using a heat gun for the same reason, because you don't want to inadvertently melt anything. So I don't have a pry tool that can fit in between a gap here without running the risk of scratching 
the uh, shell itself, and I've got various different pry tools and spudgers and things like that. None will fit, but you may have one that will. I do not recommend using a metal one though. So in the event that that does not work for you, uh, the other option is to use a suction cup. This one I got with a electronics repair kit. You may be able to find these at your local hardware store or at the usual online places like Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, etc. Sometimes these will even come with certain types of uh, halogen bulbs that are used in track lighting to help you, you know, remove the bulb more easily from its uh, housing. So I'm going to go ahead and reheat this area up again, put the suction cup on, and try to pop this lens off. And just like that, it came off. Now, more than likely this worked for me is because the adhesive on here is older and a lot more pliable as a result. Yours may not come off as cleanly. You may have to maybe rock it a little bit back and forth or up and down to find the loosest part of it to help you lift it. But once that's done, you'll see I don't have any residue left on, which is good, but you might. So you may need to take some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip Go around and clean the area so that when you apply the new screen lens, it will adhere better. Uh, and you may want to do that anyway, just to get rid of any potential oils and things like that. Also, be very careful not to touch the screen. You don't want to get any fingerprints on there because that'll be a pain to clean up. So now that I've got the old one removed, I'm going to go ahead and get the new one prepared. Now, normally I recommend going with a glass one for a replacement, but they didn't have the right color in glass, so I had to go with a plastic one. Price difference is usually a couple of bucks. These usually run between two and three bucks. Glass ones between uh, five and seven, give or take. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to take a kind of air and just in case any dust got on there. And then what I'm also going to do is take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol on it. Just clean the perimeter just in case. I got some on the screen, unfortunately. That oh, looks like there is a little bit of residue right there. Usually some air will help evaporate it more quickly. And then all you have to do is remove the backing off the adhesive. Fix the new one. And that's really all there is to it. A lot of these replacement lenses will have another film over top to protect it. It's up to you if you want to leave it on or not. As you can see, this one's got a little slight scratch to it already, so I might just remove it to give it a nice clean feeling. The main reason you want to go with glass over plastic is because the glass is a lot harder and it's less prone to scratches and things like that. But that's all you have to do. Um, it's really simple. You don't have to open it up to replace it, especially if you're not comfortable with electronics and things like that. Again, the method I used was with a suction cup and a hair dryer, and I feel personally that that is the best way to do it. So if you have any other tips or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, what'd you think of the video? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe, but there's never any obligation, although I do appreciate it. If you didn't like today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, but please leave a comment below as to why so I can try to use that to help things going forward. Otherwise, thanks all, and I'll catch you later.